Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at Chantecaille Spring for 2024. I picked up the whole collection. So we have two eyeshadow palettes. This one here is the Cool Trio. So we have three different shadows here. I would have to say though, they are not all cool. We'll, we'll take a look at those. And then we have the Warm Trio. So I would have to say overall they're, they're balanced. So although this is warmer, we do have some neutrals in here as well. So this is our Warm Trio. And then there are four lipsticks. We have two different types of packaging or two different color stories. So these are your lip cheeks. And yeah, so we have two cool and two warm. So let's go ahead and start off with the eyeshadows. All right, so we're gonna start off with the packaging. You can see that our cool trio here, we have this gold packaging with the blue sea turtle and our warm trio is green with a gold sea turtle and again this is 3d so stacking they don't stack neatly this is plastic and there are no magnets in this one so um, no worries about repelling in your storage area so we're going to start off with swatching these and then we'll talk about the details while we look at the eye swatches so our cool trio we have a soft lavender shade to start off and you can see that this is going to be a bit of a frosty lavender and there's a bit of blue in there it's a pretty balanced lavender though you've got some pink some blue you know like classic purple but it doesn't really lean too much one way or the other our middle shade however is going to be warm this is really going to be more of a soft golden champagne it's got a bit of shimmer to it so our lavender is a little frosty, whereas this one's a little bit more shimmery. So slight difference there. And then the third shade here is going to be a soft brown. Now this brown here actually has some red hue into it, in it, and it ends up, it leans a little bit warmer because of this red. This red, it, it's a little bit more of a clay red. So you can see that we do have some cool shades here with the lavender but these two are both going to lean a bit warmer now for the warm trio uh we are starting off with this olive green and this is what really drew me into this trio here you can see that the base itself is a really nice olive it actually the green itself can lean it, it's pretty neutral but it can has a little bit of coolness in there as well but we have this golden shimmer in the here and that golden shimmer definitely sways it to the warmer side because of the way it reflects the light there. You're going to see that gold pretty much every shot. Then we have a matte peach here and you can see it's pretty much a classic peach. Just trying to make these swatches pretty wide so you can easily see the shades because these are a little bit softer in pigmentation overall. Uh, the warm trio here though is going to be a bit more pigmented than our cool trio You can see our last shade here is kind of this like golden ivory mixed with a little bit of peach So our warm trio here the coolest shade is actually going to be our green But everything in here does lean warm and for our cool trio our coolest shade is the lavender our warmest shade is going to be actually this I would actually say the warmest is probably the golden champagne, whereas this is just neutral leaning warm. Moving on to the eye swatches and the demos. I swatched each of the three shades in the trio and then did a short little look or demo with those three shades together, then moved on to the next palette. So I did the cool and then the warm. And then for today's look, I combined the two trios together so you kind of see how they work together and one of the things that I think is most noticeable is uh, kind of how the different finishes look on the eyes after you pair them with some of the other shades on their own each of the shades have a pretty soft look to them none of them are super shimmery or super you know matte or anything like that they all kind of have like this middling appearance uh, for the finish, but when you start to layer them, you can see some of those characteristics more. For example, the lavender shade, when you pair that on top of something else, the frostiness of that shade really kind of pops out. The shimmer in the champagne shade in the Cool Trio, 
you know, the there is actual glitter in that and the, it's more evident when you pair that with something else or you kind of buff that onto the brow bone. So depending on where you put these things, you can see a bit more of them. Our brown in the Cool Trio, that is really gonna be more of a satin matte. So it's not a flat matte, but it is gonna be a matte shade. And then our olive in the Warm Trio, again, that gold reflect is really much more evident when you kind of use that shade on its own versus when you're pairing it with others. And then our matte peach in there, you know, that's just such a great base shade. Uh, for my complexion, you can put that on lightly and get just a really soft color, or you can build that up and get the color that we have in the arm swatch. And then our light golden peachy ivory shade is going to be a bit more satin. And that satin finish when you pair that with something else does also get a little bit more of a frosty appearance. Not as frosty as a lavender, but it can appear a little bit frosty based on the way that they have the base shades in here, I believe. So overall, the palettes do, you know, they're gonna be softer eye looks. We have four grams of product in each trio. They're made in Italy. We have a two year shelf life. And one thing to note, this packaging is not refillable. So sometimes in the past we've seen, you know, rectangular palettes from Chantecaille where they have been, been refillable and they have worked with some of their single eyeshadows that you can purchase, the, the eye shades. Uh, this time they do not work with those. However, I do think that these are the same formula. So if you're familiar with the Chantecaille singles, I feel like these have the same formula. However, they are not dupes of the shades that I have. There are some similar shades though. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So in the past, we have seen some rectangular palettes from Chantecaille like this one from with the elephant on it. And just for a size comparison, you can see the difference. The refillable one is a lot slimmer <laughs> and it is going to be a bit longer. And again, this one was refillable. So I actually removed my shades and put in some other shades that I just took out. This one also had room for a brush and came with one. And this one here, you can see these are gonna be a bit smaller. So the first thing these made me think of were the Chantecaille eye shades. So you can buy these as singles and they sell empty palettes you can put them in, but these also fit into this. So I actually just took some out. So you can see though our size difference. These are two and a half grams versus these, again, four grams total weight for all of these. So let's go ahead and swatch the shades that look fairly similar. We're gonna start off with this. This is one of the iridescent eye shades in Lilac Rose. And you can see just looking at them, the color difference. So let's go ahead and see how they actually compare. But this is Lilac Rose from the singles. And you can see they both have a bit of that frosty look, but Lilac Rose is going to be a little bit lighter and it's got a little bit more pink in there. We've got a little bit more blue in the new trio and it's got a dustier vibe. I also wanted to take a look at this one because this is another iridescent eye shade. This is the shade Cell. And I wish they had used a shade like this in place of this brown here. I, I think that a trio with more of a true taupe in here, something a little bit cooler, I think that would have been a better compliment. But this is, I think, a really beautiful shade. So a lot of the eye shades from Chantecaille are very soft in pigmentation. The formula for these, they feel like a, a silky powder, but they are gonna be you know more of a traditional formula. And I feel like this is one of their best shades. So I would have actually preferred to see a shade like this in the Cool Trio. And then this is the shade Almond. And this is going to be a matte ivory. And that is gonna be my closest, but you can see we definitely don't have the golden shimmer that we have in the trio. This is gonna be matte and it is, or actually it's a shine formula. So I guess it's a satin, but it's a very subtle satin. And you can see though that the base shade is pretty similar except for the gold reflect in the trio, which definitely warms it up. So that is the shade Almond. Now, while we're at it, we're just gonna go ahead and swatch all of the shades I have in this formula. This is another iridescent in the shade Quartz. And I'm just gonna put this right in between the cool and the warm. It doesn't really match any of these shades, but I do think it is a nice shade. 
And then the elephant trio from this, let's go ahead and swatch these. And this trio itself runs pretty warm. So uh, they don't have names. They came together in the trio, but you can replace them with the uh, individuals. You can see that this is gonna be a more yellow version of what we have in the warm trio. We have this like coppery shade here. This is gonna be, this one's a bit more powdery than some of the others, but this is gonna be more of a brownish copper, pretty different from everything we've seen there. And then we have this brown, which, um, you know, this one here actually, let's put it here. You can see we have a cool base, but we do have a little bit of a warmer uh, hue in there as well. It's a little, it's kind of like a muddy brown. What? One more here, this is coriander. I don't know how I forgot to swatch this one. Let's put this one right here. You can see this is a nice cooler tone shade as well. This is going to be a lasting eye shade which is a satin finish here. And yeah, I really like this. This one goes very nicely with Cell as well. Cell's gonna be a little bit cooler. This is a great neutral shade. So these are the Chantique eye shades that you can purchase individually. You can also buy refillable palettes. And again, I believe that the formula is the same as those in the Warm and Cool Trio. So overall, the formula for these, I do think that the Chantecaille eye shade formula is the same as those in the two trios. And I think it's an okay formula. So I don't find anything particularly special about the formula. It works nicely to give you a nice soft eye look. A lot of these shades are very soft. You know, we're looking at soft and light shades in general for spring. We do have a bit more pigmentation with the warm trio. Overall, everything is nice, but in my opinion, nothing here is wow. Now, for me, myself, I have had these Chantecai eyeshades for many years, and honestly, they haven't been a formula that I really reach for very often. My favorite shades from them, though, would be the Lilac Rose, the Almond, and the Cell, followed by Coriander, coriander and um, Quartz. So those are the ones that I tend to like the most. So I've kept those around for all of these years, but again, it's just an okay formula to me. Moving on to our lip cheeks, we have four shades. So we have two in the blue on blue and two in the green and gold. So let's go ahead and start off. The one on my lips right now is called Starflower. And this one here is a bit more of a mauve nude shade here. And I actually think it looks better on the lips than it does in the arm swatch. It's a really pretty shade. So uh, this is probably my favorite of the four shades. And then we also have Rosia. And this one here you can see is gonna be warmer shade. This is kind of a warm soft red with a little bit, there's a little bit of orange in here. So this is definitely gonna be a warmer tone shade. And then following that, we have Coral Vine in our blue packaging. So this here is gonna, looks like a nice vibrant pink. And yeah, it's a nice cool tone pink. And then following that, we have Ginger Lily. And hold on, I've got dog hair on that already. <laughs> but we've got Ginger Lily here, which I think is a really pretty peachy shade here. So this is gonna be warmer in tone. Now, when Chantecaille has paired these with the palettes on the website in photos, they typically pair one of each, a cool and a warm with each of the palettes. Although, in my opinion, the blues are gonna be your cooler tone shades and the green and gold are your warmer tone shades. So if you're not familiar with lip shake packaging, uh, these are square, which is great because they don't roll off your desk. However, they are magnetic, which means that they can attract or repel, which is how one of mine just fell off my, my desk here. So uh, just something to note because it can make storage a little bit more challenging uh, if you're putting them in drawers because they do kind of repel and that can be an issue. So let's take a look at the lip swatches here. Each of these lip sheets has two and a half grams of product and they have an 18 month shelf life. They're made in Italy and they're PETA approved. So these, I think they're a really nice formula. They do have a vanilla fragrance to them. So just something to note. And they are a glossy plumping lipstick infused with hyaluronic acid. 
And according to Sean Sakai, the, these, this whole collection was created to support ancestral tides and their conservation work, protecting turtles and their ecosystems. So they kind of work with indigenous tribes to help kind of protect the species and their surrounding environment. The Shantakai lipstick formula is a classic lipstick formula. They were one of the first to kind of give you that combination of a gloss, a lip balm, and a lipstick all in one. So this will definitely have that glossy sheen to it. Wear time on these is average anywhere from two to four hours for me, for the most part. If you're wearing more pigmented shades, you'll have a little bit more color left, so it can last a little bit longer. But overall, these are very comfortable. As I mentioned, they do have a vanilla fragrance. That's something that's been there for several years now, but I do have some older lip shakes from many, many years ago that did not have fragrance. If you're looking for a fragrance-free option from Chantecaille, their lip veils are a thinner formula without any fragrance. Overall though, I think these are a really nice product and the colors that they chose from this collection are gorgeous, but they do tend to choose similar shades in their collection. So let's take a look at some of their previous releases. Now I don't have a ton of these anymore, but let's go through some of the ones that I still have. This is one of the lip veils in Acacia. And I'm gonna put these vertically so we can see them. You can see this is kind of a beautiful soft mauve. This one is gonna be a little bit cooler than Starflower. Starflower actually is a little bit warmer and a little bit more brown, whereas this has a little bit more mauve and berry in it. So this is one of my favorites. I really like this one. I also wanted to take a look at this one here, which is Passiflora. I don't think this one's really gonna match. So we'll put this one down here, but you can see that this is gonna be a soft, it's a more pink than Starflower. And it does have like a little bit of a pinky lavender hue to it. So this one came out in the fall collection. So I think that's a really pretty shade. Now this is Crocus from last year's spring collection. And let's go ahead and put this one kind of right here. You can see it's kind of a bright pink. It's not quite the same as anything here, but it does kind of look like a combination between Ginger Lily here at the bottom and Coral Vine. And this one from the same collection is Meadow. And um, you can see how that, that's gonna be closest to Ginger Lily. I actually think these are pretty close. I, I think those are, you know, close enough. And then this one here is Carpathia. Put that one right here. You can see it's gonna be a bit warmer than Coral Vine but it is gonna be a nice warm pink. This is Clover, and this is from a couple of years ago now. And you can see it's gonna be a soft pink. Doesn't quite match anything in the current collection, but it does, it kinda of goes very well with this collection. So if you already have this one, you may wanna think before getting any of these. I would say that it's kind of like a lighter version of Coral Vine. Coral Vine is actually a lot cooler than you might think from the name. <laughs> this one here is Honeysuckle, and this has always been one of my favorites. Um, this came out with the Hummingbird Collection, so several years ago. It is, I thought it would be closest to Starflower, but you can see it's a bit warmer, more of a soft pink. Let's put it actually down here as well, so we can see next to Ginger Lily. Uh, you can see it's cooler than Ginger Lily, though. And this is the classic lip veil in Honey Pot. And we'll put that one right here uh, just to kind of see how that compares. Just because I know this is a shade that a lot of people have, but it's not going to quite be a match with any of the new shades. This is one of the old lip shakes in the shade Sorry Rose. And let's see how that one compares. It is going to be warmer, but we do have kind of the same nude base to it. Let's take a look at a more. And let's put this one down here. Again, this is an older lip chic. It doesn't really go with any of these, um, but let's we'll put it right here so we can see right next to our second shade here, which was Rosia. So this is Rosia, which is warmer than Amore. This one here is Hyssop. And this is gonna be more plum than anything here, but I do have to say in the photos, uh, Starflower looked like it was a mu more muted version of Hyssop. Uh, Hyssop has a bit more of that like berry red uh, purple hue. And this is going to be deeper. It doesn't have the brown though that Starflower has. Starflower is more brown in person than it is in the promo photos. 
And here is Freesia from the Elephant Collection. Let's go ahead and put that one right here. Yeah, that one, it is fairly close. So we've got Starflower up here. Freesia is a little bit more pink, but I do think that they are fairly similar. This one here is Peach Blossom. Let's see how that compares to Ginger Lily. Ginger Lily is gonna be a little bit softer. Peach Blossom is gonna be a bit brighter. This one here is Lupine, and I wanted to see how this one compares with Coral Vine. Let's go ahead and put it right here. You can see that Lupine is gonna be a brighter, cooler pink. Let's do another one here for Starflower. This is Plumeria, and let's just put it here. Oh, way more pink, actually. Mm, now, this is really more of a soft medium rose. It's not really gonna go with any of the others. All right, and those are my comparisons. So one more time for the new shades, we have Starflower, Rosia, Coral Vine, and Ginger Lily. So Starflower, Rosia, Coral Vine, and Ginger Lily. So in summation, I would have to say that the Shantakai Spring 2024 collection is a nice, solid collection. So we've got eyeshadows that work very well for daily use. It's a nice average formula, but nothing wow, in my opinion, nothing amazing or unique in terms of formulation or shades. These are going to give you soft, nice, everyday eye looks. And there's always, you know, a place for that in your collection. So if these are shades that you absolutely love, that you know you're going to use a lot, then these would be something to consider. Now, as for the lip cheeks, you know, Shantakai always gives us such beautiful shades for the lip cheeks. Some of them can be similar to previous ones that you may have purchased and you might already have in your collection, but it is a very nice formula, performs well, and, you know, it, overall everything complements the collection as a whole. So I would have to say I'm happy that I purchased all of these items. I like everything in this collection. And if I had to pick one thing, my favorite would be the Starflower lipstick. So this is a shade. This is the one that's on my lips. This is like just such a great everyday shade, almost like your My Lips But Better kind of shade. So this is one that I know will be on repeat for me quite a bit. As for the eyeshadow trios, honestly, the formula is average, so it's probably not one that I'm gonna reach for as often as some of my favorites, but I do think they are nice, great basics, and for those days when you don't really wanna think about what you're putting on, or you're kind of rushing, you want some really something really light, something easy, or even just one and done looks, these are really great for that kind of purpose, and that's what Shantakai kind of excels at, are kind of those softer looks in general. So. Overall, I think it's a nice collection. I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether you are planning on picking anything up. I purchased all of my items at Blue Mercury, but it should be releasing at other retailers soon. And I'll leave everything linked down below in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you very soon.